Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Satham, and welcome back to another episode of Sea Dogs to Each His Own. So, since the last episode, one week has passed, and I have fooled around, tried to make some money, and now we are carrying on with the Dutch Gambit questline for the Dutch. So if you guys enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel, who knows, you might just enjoy them. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, I have waited a week, fooled around a bit, tried to get into some mischief, and now we are carrying on with the Dutch Gambit questline. So now we are at the point where we want to help him, or where he wants us to help him with Abigail. So he tells us the story of uh, Abigail's father and Abigail and what happened to them and obviously where he found them on a mysterious island and all that good stuff. Then after this, we will need to go and talk to Abigail and Solomon, which is Abigail's father. We'll find out that his father, or Abigail's father, I don't even know why I said his father, Abigail's father has lost a lot of money. He's stashed it on a chest on a mysterious island that has not been, char been charted yet. And we need to go and find it. And that's kind of pretty much it. So I'm just reading the dialogues that Lucas has for us to re-familiarize myself with what needs to be done specifically. I roughly know them kind of off the top of my head. I can remember them. But as I said, I just want to make sure that I get the details right as they don't always get put in the quest log. All right, well, I think that was the end of the conversation. So now we need to go and talk to Abigail. All righty, with that being said and done, let's go and find Abigail's house. If I can remember, I, I, I might struggle with this one a bit, but who knows? Let's see if we get lucky. I think our house is somewhere around in this area. Okay, let me just have a look around, get my bearings. Don't think it's this one. Nah. It normally says at the top right screen where that door leads. That's obviously the governor. Nothing here. Nope, can't go that way. Don't want to go that way. Yeah. It's always nice to knock on doors just to see what people say. <laughs> no, you're not the right person. My husband saw us. Thank you, and I have to go. Bye. Oh, go away. Come a little closer. Nope. I'm happy with everything here. How about you? Wrong house. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> okay. Let me just quickly double check the quest log. Okay. Well. I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. This is the house. Am I getting something out of this? Or did I miss something? Okay, I'll go and talk to Abigail. I think she should be up in this room. 
There she is. Anything I can do? Nope. Uh, I might as well not even try it. I hope you don't have any better news for me. So this is where we find out the rest of the story and obviously the complications and all that. So we tell her that the one she truly loves, Richard Fleetwood, was the one in charge of the ghost ship and all this. And that uh, Lucas fancies her and all that good stuff and try and hook them up. And obviously she'll tell us that she can't do anything because her family's fortune was left on that island. Okay, so this is a bit with uh, her poor papa. <laughs> ah. Who's lost all the family fortune on that mysterious island that hasn't been put on any map. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, when she leaves, uh, the riches will keep Papa uh, happy and entertained. I mean, there are plenty of brothels around in the New World, I guess. So I guess you could always buy a, a new daughter for a night from a brothel, maybe. Am I getting something out of this? Or did I miss something? Good Lord, Sid. How difficult it is on the ebb of life to start everything anew. Okay, so we're getting his side of the story now. I mean, I personally like to read them. It does refresh my memory in terms of what needs to be done. And to be fairly honest, it is a fairly interesting quest line. You get to see each character's point of view on the situation and everything. So also... These dialogues do contain certain bits and pieces of information. And as you've seen in the quest log that we have, we don't really get all that much information. So we're kind of left wondering. So we might as well read it and make notes if you need to. Okay. All right, so <laughs> that is all the information that we got in the quest log. Okay, well, not that much as you can clearly see. Do you have anything else to say? No. Okay, well, I guess not. 
Also, I am back out here again. Um, we did also bump into a character, this character over here, who wanted to talk to us, who was waiting for us at the port, so we will have to follow him to his house. And this is done manually. He wants to talk to us before we leave the island. And he does want to talk to us in private where his house is. He's apparently, uh, what was... What was the Abigail's dad's name? His, it, their neighbors, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll follow him in here. And he'll tell us about a jade skull. But, okay, maybe upstairs. So obviously, Lucas has... Oh, oh was it Lucas? Yeah. I've got a proposition so you, Abigail's father also you wants us to retrieve his family heritage, which is a very rare... Uh, amulet in the form of a jade skull. This guy is willing to pay us a lot of money for that skull. And if we sell it to him, the Solomon, that's it. Solomon, which is Abigail's father, doesn't seem that bothered. Which is what we will do. We do need the money to free our good brother. So, um, as usual, I'm going to go through his dialogues fairly slowly so that people can read it as well although I have kind of given a shorter version of what he asks us to do Okay, so we've picked up the additional quest from this guy, or the, the additional instruction. Just checking to see what is in our menu. So we need to go to our ship, then use the menu action inside the cabin. Okay. So I am just double checking all of the information that is in the quest log. And I am reading it quite thoroughly on the principle that there is some sort of information that was not given to us in the, or during the dialogues with the characters. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go back to the port once I get past the stupid camera angle. I mean, I could have probably used the fast travel option, but I guess might as well do it on foot. All right, so let's go into the cabin. We need to find the island on the map. No, that's not... <laughs> okay, the dialogue thing is not coming up, so I might as well... Just move out of the way. I think it's because I was in front of my officers and Charles here wanted to talk to the officers instead for some reason. It's a bit annoying it does that. So I guess now we wait. Okay, we're not getting anything here. There we go. So we apparently now have the thing on the map, the location on the map. We can now go out, I think. I don't think there's anything else that we can do. I've just done that, though. So we've got the coordinates and all that good stuff, but I don't know. I think that's it, pretty much. Let's try that again, see if there's another option here. I uh, might as well explore with it. No, we don't get that. No, we don't want to use that. So we don't get another option to do, to do anything in this menu. 
no, I don't want to do that either. I don't want to rest. Okay, I guess that was it. I don't know why it just gave us that prompt in the... Um, in our quest log, to be honest. I'm going to save here just to be on the safe side. We don't know what we're going to bump into. We might have to load from here. Now let me see if I remember <laughs> the direction of the island. The location of the mysterious island is somewhere close to the island where we were. So it's somewhere around here. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember exactly where it was. So I guess it'll take me a couple of tries until I get it right. Okay, just looking at the menu again, at the menu, at the quest log again, just to make a note of the coordinate. Uh, I think because I've forgotten the location, I might as well use the coordinates. It's, yeah, it's probably the best way of doing it. So it's somewhere around here. We are very close. So we are to the right of the island. And that seems to be the location. So it's somewhere around here. Maybe more this way a bit. Hopefully this might do. This looks about right. I'm just going to... Oh, oh, there's a storm coming. There we go. This is where it is. So it's basically to the right of the island, not to the left. And now we need to land here somewhere. The question is, which of these is the best option? Uh, there isn't any visual cue as to where I should land. So I guess we'll just go with this and try and find the cave in which the chest was hidden. So far, the path does look somewhat familiar. I might, might accidentally make a wrong turn. So I'm just going to get on top of this hill. And so we came from that way. There's two exits somewhere around there. So which way do we go? I think I'm going to go this way. Okay, so, yes, this is it. This is the cave. Gonna go in, we're gonna rob the chest. Or loot the chest. I think we are in the right place. I just wanted to have a look around. Oh, there's a chest. Nothing special. So there is the Jade Skull. There is his money. And we've got his money. So, time to go back and hand in the Jade Skull for some additional money. I just want to have a look at this area. I mean, like, what is going on here? What is it supposed to be? Is that like a hole in the map or something? Anyways, that always has me fascinated every time I come there. I, I tend to do it instinctively. I mean, I generally tend to be curious by nature, so I'm like, ah, what is that? What does that do? Okay, so, <laughs> now I am confused. I don't actually remember which way I came from. So I'm going to have to make a guess. Okay, we, so this is one harbor. Is this the right harbor? Yes, it is. Wow, that was lucky. That was pure luck there, guys. Okay, time to go back to the mainland. Uh, yo, I don't want to. Yeah, never mind. So in this case, pull up your sails. Wait for it. Because if you leave your sails down, it will do a lot of damage to your sails. I'm going to try and align myself with the position in which the wind is blowing. That also prevents damage to the hull or reduces the damage to the hull at least. And we're going to speed things up. Okay. 
that should do. I wonder if I should fight this guy. I kind of want to. That'll just mean some additional money in my pocket. As the idea is, I'm going to use the fort to weaken it, and once it's weak enough, I then... Oh no. <laughs> got myself stuck there for a bit. I'm trying to get a... Okay, I've got no choice. I've got no choice but to fight these guys. Luckily, we are fairly close to the fort. Oh my goodness me, what have I done? I have really hurt myself. Wow. Bad game. I need to get the heck out of here before I actually sink my ship. So I have to do that all over again because I'm kind of in between the hammer and the anvil. Wonderful. I've totally wrecked my ship. At least this time we'll do it a bit quicker. It's a bit annoying that I have to reload, which means, which basically means that, you know, instead of showing you the end of this quest, I have to do this all over again. But at least this time around, instead of the cut to the place, you get to see where I'm going. The cut will have probably been done, well, probably, most likely has been done because I stopped recording. I realized I was doing something wrong, so until I figured it out, I stopped recording just to save up on disk space. So I guess uh, this kind of shows you my my journey, I guess, in terms of where I want to be. Okay, so let's go to the cave, pick up all the stuff quickly, then make our way back to the land, island. Uh, yeah, English, English, English. Yeah. So I think it's the... Nope, nope, nope. This was the other harbor. There we go. Um, So we go back, maybe... I go this way. Okay, so I come from there. Because my officer is still standing there, so I'm going to go this way then. Whoops, I did it again. <laughs> there we go. That's that's my instinct. It's like that big red button that says don't push the button and you you can't help it. It's almost like, you know, you have to stop. You have to stop and think about what you're about to do. That it's just that distracting that hole in the cave. Now, to get the right exit, I think it might be this one. No, it's not this one, is it? Yeah. Why is there a fire in the water? That just makes no sense. I think it might be this one. I hope. Yes, it is. There's only two harbors here. And one path that takes to the island. So, if it's not one, it's the other. So, yeah, it's kind of the way I I remember it. So, let's try that again. This time around, we don't have a storm above us. We do have pirates on us, though. Okay, so we're nearly there. It is time to hand in the quest, get our money. Remember, there's no point in giving the Jade Skull to Solomon. I guess I might as well wait for these guys. We've got company, Captain. And I guess, seeing as they want to give me one of the ships, see if they have anything good. Ooh, uh, okay, I thought that was a pirate one. Nope. That's not the one that we want. We don't want to pick a fight with that ship. 
I'm just gonna save here in case things go wrong, because I can't hide behind a fort. And let the fort deal with the problems. Ideally, I would like to try and quickly capture a ship. And also have something to sell for some additional cash. Now, what have we got here? Come here, buddy. Come to me. Those look like ships that would give a fair amount of money. I'm trying to damage their sails, but they're pretty darn fast. I don't think they're interested due to the fort. <laughs> they're not turning around. And I'm struggling to hit their sails from this, from this angle. I am faster than them, though. Okay, so I'm now currently out of range of the fort, which is not a good thing. Because if these things turn around, they are going to be an absolute nightmare. Yep, that's turned around. I mean, that's not very threatening, that. That's just a brig. Not that bothered with it. I can quickly deal with it once I have damaged the cells. Okay, that should do. Time to close in on it and board it, get what we can off of it, sell the ship. It looks like one of them wants to turn around. I need to be careful here. I don't want it to use the grape shot on me. It does have about the same amount of crew as me, so we don't want to board it until it is quite bad on crew. That should do. I uh, should be ready to be boarded. The left side, ready to fire. And obviously, I'm selling against the wind. That's not going to do us many favors. Come on. Right side, Let's board you. Obviously, behind me, there's another ship there that wants a piece of us. There's no point in firing any more grape shot at it because it's ready to be boarded. After this, we'll quickly make a run for the other ship. We'll remove the captain on this one, set our own captain, make a run for the other ship, and hopefully that big ship, whatever it was, that looked like a galleon, does not turn around. And with all that being said, I am going to end the episode here. We will continue the end of this mission in the next episode so join me then if you've enjoyed this episode please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel who knows you might just enjoy them until next time stay safe folks